AOPS Volume 1 The Basics Number 48. Two men starting on a point on a circular one mile racetrack walk in opposite directions with uniform speeds and meet in six minutes. But if they walk in the same direction, it requires one hour for the faster walker to gain a lap. What is the rate of the slower walker? So since we're given two scenarios, let us utilize the two scenarios in order to help us solve the question. So that is one mile racetrack and that is another. So this is representing the first uh, representation, this is the second representation with the two scenarios. And since we're trying to find the velocities, let us suppose the velocity for the two people. For the first person, let's call him the faster person, and let's call V2 the slower person. So V1, let's call that X miles per hour, note, is per hour, not minutes. And the velocity of the second person will be Y miles per hour, and we have this set up, we can begin to approach our scenarios. The first scenario is that on our first mile racetrack, the two people, which let's say person one starts here and person two starts here, walk in the same direction, or sorry, the opposite directions with uniform speeds and meet in six minutes. So if they're running in opposite directions, then they're coming towards each other, as you can see here. Because the first person is going counterclockwise, the second person is going clockwise. So they're going to meet, let's say, somewhere here. But we don't really care where they meet. All I need to understand is that the first scenario, when they're walking in opposite directions, they're coming towards each other. So for every hour that they run, they are coming closer to each other by x plus y miles. So then we can apply this to the velocity formula, which is equal to the velocity equal to distance divided by time. Therefore, the velocity of x plus y, which is how fast they're running towards each other, should be equal to the distance, which is one mile, divided by the time. And it tells us that they are going to meet in six minutes. But six minutes, we cannot write in six. Remember, the velocities are in miles per hour. So how much is six minutes in an hour? So six minutes divided by 60 hours, well, that would be 1 60th of an hour. Or not 1 60th, 1 10th of an hour. Please excuse that very basic arithmetic mistake. That is supposed to be 1 10th of an hour, which is representing six minutes. So this is divided by 1 over 10. And that is our first system of equations done. And now let's approach scenario two. If they walk in the same direction, so if person one is walking counterclockwise, the person two is also walking that direction. So let's say person one is walking counterclockwise. That means person two is also running counterclockwise. But since we know that the faster person is faster than the slower person, that means that the faster person is rapidly gaining towards the second person much faster than the second person is gaining towards the first person. So therefore, the faster person is pulling away from the slower person at x minus y, uh, at a rate of x minus y, which should be equal to the distance of 1 divided by the time for which it takes the guy to run a mile, which is 1. Because after they run a mile, well, they meet with one another. So solve the system of equations and we're done x plus y is equal to 10, and x minus y is equal to 1. We can add the two equations to get 2x is equal to 11, hence x is equal to 11 over 2, meaning that the faster person is walking at a rate of 11 over 2 miles per hour. And since we have x, we can solve for y. y is equal to 10 minus x from this equation right here, hence x is 11 over 2, so 10 minus 11 over 2 will be equal to 9 over 2, meaning that the slower person is walking at a rate of 9 over 2 miles per hour, or in other words, 4.5 miles per hour, the solution to our question.